Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I want to see. I want to see what's currently going on with my Virgos, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you guys would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. So let's see what's going on with my Virgos, my loves. I do want to send a special shout out, guys, to all my members. Thank you, guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you, guys, for joining me. Guys, for all my subscribers, both old and new, thank you, guys. Thank you for joining me. Let's get into this energy. Let's see what's going on. Show me, Spirit. Show me what's going on with my Virgos. So we have the fates, not for you. And then we have chop wood. Gosh, that energy came through so strong. Bottom of the deck, you have peace. I actually saw this when I first picked up this deck. I feel like I'm speaking to I'm speaking to a Virgo right now, present moment, where you're in the pursuit of peace. You're in the pursuit of making peace with someone. You're in the pursuit of having peace in your life, you know, peace in your soul. Like, I feel like I'm dealing with a Virgo here. You're in the pursuit here of creating peace, peace in your life, peace in your heart, peace in your home, peace within your work environment, you know, peace within your family dynamic. I feel like I'm talking to a Virgo here where you're in that pursuit of peace, of peace. Right now, present moment, you could be kind of thinking about there's a fork in the road for some of you guys. There is a fork in the road here. And you're kind of pondering, kind of thinking about, I feel like I picked up this energy yesterday evening. How did I get here? How do I get myself out of this situation? How am I to handle this? Because I want peace in my life. But right now I'm at a fork in the road. Not quite sure of what direction to go. What next steps, what, what steps are for my greatest and my highest good. What next steps should I take? But with this peace here, I see someone's face on this. Finding a place of peace. Some of you guys, you're in this pursuit to to matching yourself, to joining with someone here, you know, or joining with an organization here. You know, I feel like there's a pursuit here of a better place, a better time, a better place in, and or a better time here. First out, we have the fates here. I feel like it's your happily ever after, your fated, your fate. Like truly, truly the faith of your life, the faith of your decisions. I feel like right now, present moment, a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of kind of pondering over or you are faced with decisions here. And this is what's the best route to go. And then we have not for you. Nope. This fortune cookie here. Is saying no here. This it's like a platter, and I also see this this board here. And what's your move? Do you play this game? There's something here about do you continue playing this game or do you enter this game, enter this situation here, 
when something is just you may feel like something is not for you you don't want to you don't want to enter this game you don't want to play this game and i feel like some of you guys it's the game of life like i feel like this is like coming at this place in your life where you don't have time for games and i feel like this is like buckling down and becoming very serious so I feel like I am talking to a Virgo here where like you're at this place in your life where you're truly buckling down and things are becoming serious for you. I feel like you guys are thinking about the future. And I feel like that's why this fortune cookie is here. I feel like there's like a, there's like a pause here. Like mm, not quite sure I should do this. Mm, not quite sure I should partake in this. I should, you know, that type of energy is coming for coming towards you because I see where you're seeing, cause I see the pause. I see the yield. Something's not for you. And I feel like you guys are recognizing that I do. I feel like you guys are recognizing that as I'm saying this to you guys, I visualize a deck of cards and normally when that happens, I like to actually Pull that deck of cards out. Give me a sec. Okay, we're gonna pull from this shortly. And then we have chop wood here. Winter is coming. Literally winter is coming, but winter is coming here. Normally that's when we chop some wood. I feel like you guys are cutting something out of your life, cutting something out of your day to day. So you're faced, you're in this fork in the road and you're faced with a decision here. And the thing about it is, I, it's like, I got to cut it out. You know, some of you guys, you may be, you may be within a work environment here and you're like, I got to cut this out. I got to make some changes. So this is giving me professionally. Some of you guys, you're making some changes. You're chopping wood. This could be personally. Some of you guys, you're making some changes. You got to chop some wood. You got to make some changes here. Because you know, the wood comes as a log and you're breaking it apart to do. It's like breaking through. I feel like this is you guys like having a breakthrough here to get to your true purpose, your true calling, because you do need like, it's like needing the chop wood. And I feel like there's something here about the foundation. I feel like you guys are kind of chopping through, breaking through, there's a breakdown here, but it's only to build up a structure, stable, a stable structure. So this is starting from scratch for a lot of you guys, starting all over again. Going right back to the drawing board here. Falling off the wagon, but getting yourself right on back up. You know, because finally there's a breakthrough. There's an aha here. Somebody could have been born on September 17th. I have September 6th. I have August 24th. I also have August 23rd here coming through. Show me spirit. Somebody could have been born in 71. Show me the fates for my Virgos. Show me the fates. Keys. There's an opportunity here. There's an opportunity of joy, hope, happiness, fit, wish fulfillment. Because I see these stars. I see these stars going up into the sky. A dream coming true. Some of you guys could be getting downloads right now, present moment through dreams, like some very, very deep dreams, some very deep dreams here. I see keys here. There's a new opportunity that's coming through for you guys, but look how you got one, seven, one, seven on each other. Let me know in the comments what one, seven, one, seven means for you, because this is an angel number for someone. Spirit is trying to guide someone. Someone's looking for, someone's looking for confirmation. Someone's looking for some type of guidance here. And I do see like if you're looking, if you're questioning, if this is you, I want you to let me know in the comments. Because if you're questioning, 
if there's an opportunity here that's coming through for you, that answer is yes. Because as I just saw 10, 10 on the clock, there is an opportunity here. Somebody here, you need a new vehicle. Somebody here, you need a new place to stay. Somebody here, you're getting, you're getting keys to a new building here. You know, or there's a door here that's opening for you. And someone's opening that door for you. There is an opportunity here. Yeah, show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. I won't take that. Show me what I need to see for my Virgo. Show me not for you. For my Virgos. So we have two community bees. Bees buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. There's something about a community here. And we also have angel numbers, confirmation. Some of you guys could be seeing 12, 12 or 11, 11. Spirit is telling you to pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities because all of these angel numbers mean something for you. Some of you guys could be seeing 17, 17. Some of you guys could be seeing 12, 12 or 11, 11. I'm also getting 10, 20. Definitely let me know in the comments if you guys have been seeing those angel numbers. Somebody was born on September 14th. Somebody was born in 73. I also have somebody could be 32 years old. Somebody could be 42 or someone could be 37 years old. You know, but I see the bees buzzing here and I feel like what's not for you, somebody, this message is for what is not for you is the community, the company that you keep, the company. This could be the company as well. You know, also the consumption, what you're consuming. Because as I see this cup here, like the, it's what you're consuming. There's something here about the day-to-day. -day. There's something here about an environment that you subject yourself to, that you go into here. It's like, nope, I'm not playing this game. I don't want to play this game. You know, there's something here about whatever this environment is, you know that it's not for you. You know that you don't want to play this game. Yeah. There's a spot for you. Some of you guys, wherever you're at right now, present moment, it is not the spot for you right now, present moment, as we see the spot. It is not the spot for you. And I see an opportunity. I see a door opening for you to go where you actually belong, to be where, every, where you ab ab absolutely belong. Yeah, show me. Show me chop wood. Show me chop wood for my Virgos. We have globe. Possibility. Look at that. Look at that. Some of you guys may be relocating. That's some beautiful energy. You have unlimited possibilities here. I feel a global change. I feel like there's doors that's opening for you that it opens a, a vast there's a vastness of opportunity for you. Somebody could be born on August 31st. Someone could be 42. Look at that. We got 42, 42 coming through. That could be an angel number for you as well. 42, 42 coming through for you guys. This is all about the tree and your ancestry here. Building something. You're building a foundation there's an opportunity for you to build a foundation, generational wealth, but also there's an opportunity for you to change the trajectory of your family's future of your future. And I feel like that's a big part. That's what you want to do. I do. I feel like that's something that you absolutely want to do. Show me, Spirit. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos. Show me. Protect it. Spirit is saying you are safe and supported while you change your career. So some of you guys, you are changing your career here. And Spirit is saying that you are protected and you are supported while you change your career. We have body work. Your life purpose involves body work, such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training so there's something here about you guys training your body here 
There's something here about therapy. This is something about healing. Show me more spirit from our Virgos. We have a leadership. Take charge of this situation. Whatever this situation is for you, spirit is telling you guys to take charge of this situation. You are a leader. You are meant to be in a leadership role here. And I feel like there's an opportunity of this, even if it's just being the leader of your, of the pack, the leader of your home, you know, this is head of household, you know, this is the leader of, this is like a transformation. Like you're the person that is, that that's been assigned the duty to make some type of change within your family dynamic, within your foundation. You know, there's something here about a responsibility being put on you. And you know, you, 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 you intuitively know that spirit is calling you to make a change here. Spirit is absolutely causing, calling you to make a change. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos. What's currently going on for my Virgo spirit? King of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This King of swords stands on his beliefs, stands on the knowledge and the information that he has gathered. You know, he has, look, I just, I see these bees, things working for him, people working for him, but he holds all of the power. You know, he has cut through chopped wood. He has cut through the BS. And I feel like you're embodying this energy right now, present moment where you're at this place in your life. And it's like you, you're, you've cut through all of the BS, the power is in your hand. You know your shit. That's the kind of energy that's coming through here. And I feel like this is like sitting, it's like a cloud here. And it has, it has been, there's a terrain. I'm visualizing a terrain. Like you have had to tough through a terrain. Some of you guys, this has to do with your career. Like you've had to tough through a lot of people, a lot of, and you had to deal with a lot of BS to get to where you are right now, present moment in your career. But still, you know, you have weathered the storm and the powers within your hand. And the thing about it is with this sword of truth, the sword that the King of Swords is holding, the, the King of Swords knows that he knows his shit, that he knows the truth, the truth of the matter. The truth of the matter is that the knowledge that you have accumulated, the skills that you have accumulated, there's an accumulation of power here. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. You are loved here but not only that I feel like you're going towards something that you ultimately will love I feel like because that knight of cups goes into action goes into battle the knight of cups is a soldier of this king of swords the knight of cups is a soldier of the suits itself yes it's with emotions yes where the swords is all about thought but this is finding your place. I feel like this is you guys finding your place in this world, finding your place in a company, finding your place in your life personally and or professionally. But I feel like you guys are going on this path where you are finding your place, finding your home or your sanctuary. Where, you're, where, where your knowledge can be utilized. You know, and I feel like you guys, whatever this is that you're going towards, I feel like it's full of love. I feel like it's absolutely full of love. Show me more, spirit. If you guys truly believe this, I want you guys to put in the comments, I do believe. This is about you guys believing in the opportunities that's ahead of you. This is about you guys believing in the possibilities because you have unlimited possibilities. But this is about you truly, truly believing that. And if you do believe this, I want you to put this in the comments, I believe. Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. The sun. The sun. So I feel like 
I'm dealing with a Virgo here that is, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that struggles financially. Somebody that doesn't have everything that they want in life right now. You know, and so I feel like I'm dealing with a group of Virgos here, whereas you may have the education. There's a background here. You have the background. You have the skill sets. You're, you're very talented. You're very educated. You're very knowledgeable. You have that, but you may lack in resources. So what you lack in resources, you make up with your will and your tenacity and your intelligence and the power that you possess to keep on pushing through and to figure out because I feel like this is like this there's a very strategic a very analytical energy that comes through from that king of swords and while you may lack certain things knight of pentacles you lack resources you lack there's something here about you lacking something you know some of you guys yes right now present moment you may have some issues here with your stability you know you may have some physical ailments you know some pain right now present moment you may have some type of financial difficulties. You know, some of you, somebody here, you could have actually filed for bankruptcy, however this goes, because there's a financial situation here because it's like not knowledgeable enough in whatever department that is. But the sun is saying that this is an opportunity to fix this, to heal this. But there's also an illumination on this. You see, this is you recognizing your flaws, not even your flaws, it's you recognizing your strengths and your weaknesses. You know, this is you actually absolutely recognizing this, but, you, but knowing that you have to fix this four of swords. We also have the ace of wands. So we see a new opportunity coming in for you. But you guys need to take some time and get in rest, get rejuvenated. Take some time to think things through here. Take some time to truly think some things through here. The sun. Yeah, show me more spirit. Show me more. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos. As I just saw 22, 22 on the clock, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy, Ten of Swords. I feel like I'm dealing with a group of Virgos here that you are, this could be one person very specific. You know, there's an energy of, Not the queen of pentacles is somebody that's materialistic, somebody greedy and a little bit selfish, but also somebody that doesn't do proper, doesn't do what they're supposed to do when it comes to their finances, their health and their foundation. The, the, this, the queen of pentacles is too laissez faire when it comes to financial stability when it comes to issues at hand that matters, you know, because even if it has to do with your health, however it goes, you have this one vessel, you have this one body that spirit is saying that you do need to take care of. So some of you guys, I'm getting an energy here of you may be so focused now, right now, present moment on your work, you know, on your career that you're, that you're dropping the ball in a different department of your life and spirit is calling you to, to get a grip on that. Ten of Swords. The thing about it is these trying times that you guys have been undergoing, those, those two shall pass. If you truly believe this, I want you guys to put in the comments, I believe the hard times that you have been experiencing, those two shall pass. Spirit is confirming that those two shall pass for you. Because you've been through a lot. Some of you guys, you've been through a lot with your health. You know, this is giving me maternal. There may be some maternal things here. There may be some things that has to do with um, like gynecological things that some of you guys may have had to are with your hormones here because I see this empress coming through. But I see this ace of pentacles right here. I see an opportunity coming in for some of you guys. I see a lot of hard work ahead of you guys. I see a very abundant future for you. Your hard times are about to cease to exist. I see where you've had some trying times. I do. I see where you've had some trying times. Some of you guys, you've had some trying times when it comes to your health, when it comes to your finances, you know, when it comes to certain 
trying to obtain something like you've been working your ass off trying to obtain something but it seems like it's the the more you work the further it gets away from you and now some of you guys this could have been a, a, a true relationship a marriage that you've had with someone here someone that wasn't giving to this and it's very disappointing because i see where you lost whatever the battle was with this person i see where you lost but spirit is saying that you have a new beginning here. The Empress. Spirit is saying this is your clean slate. You have a new beginning to start anew. Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys are going to be coming into some money here. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys are in a very toxic work environment. You're in a very toxic work environment. Some of you guys, there's obsession. There's obsession surrounding your work. There's obsession right now, present moment, because you're trying to make something happen. Six of wands here. Trying to get recognition, you know, trying to be seen, trying, there's accolades here. There's an obsession in that. But you may be actually hurting, your, like kind of hurting yourself physically, mentally, emotionally in the process. In the process of your pursuit to this rise, this rise in fame or this rise within a company, this rise within your career here. Yeah. Show me, Spirit. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos. We have a Dahlia. Dignity. It says, a wise man has dignity without pride. A fool has pride without dignity. Confucius. Look at that. A wise man. This is not about your ego. And this is not about being prideful. This is about you doing what is right for yourself. What is best for yourself and your family. But what is best for you? A wise man has dignity without pride. A fool has pride without dignity. Hmm. So I just saw 27, 27 on the clock. All right, my loves. That is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not, guys. If this resonates with you, put a heart in the comments. I love every last one of you guys, and I hope you guys have such a wonderful day. Bye, guys.